Good morning students. Today I am going to solve the question which is in page number 200 of the book. The chapter number is 10 and the name of the chapter is Query and Functions in MySQL. Now read the question. It says consider the table player with the data given below. So this is the particular table identified by the name player and these are the data corresponding to the columns PID, F name, L name, game, gender, DOB and age. Now based on this table called player I shall solve the following SQL questions. The first question says write a query to display the records of all the students. Now see before I solve each of these questions I shall set the database which contains this table as the current database. Only if we set the database which contains this table called player as the current database we can work with this table. Now the database which contains this particular table called player is the second database. Now let me set that database as the current database. But before that, I have to log into the MySQL workbench. So here it is. This is the startup screen of MySQL workbench. Now let me maximize it. Now after maximize it, I shall bring the mouse cursor over here. I shall click on local instance of MySQL 56. On doing that, I shall see a new dialog window like this with the username as root and the password that I shall type here is SQL123 because while installation of MySQL, I've set the password for the user root as SQL123. That's why I'm typing it out here. And now I shall click on this OK button. And on doing that, it leads me to a new window, okay, with the workspace exactly shown like this, okay, and it's colored white in the shape of a rectangular box. And inside this workspace, I'm going to type and execute the SQL commands. Now, in order to set the database identified by the name second database as the current database, I shall make use of the use command okay then specify the database name and since that is second database i shall write second database here followed by semicolon okay and then click this flash like symbol okay to execute this command okay this shows a tick mark in the output window against the command use second database okay this indicates that the database identified by the name second database has been set to the current database and as a result i can now work with this table called player which is contained inside the database called second database now the first question says write a query to display the records of all the students okay now if i if i am to display the records of all the students of the table called player I have to write the SQL query as select star from player followed by semicolon. Now let me execute this query. So as a result, the query lists all the records of the table called player. This is the first record for the student Astik Dasgupta. This is the second record for the student Hansik Monda. And likewise, this is the last record for the student Subham Mohanta. Now read this second question. It says write a query to display the records of students who play the game cricket. Now out of all these records, okay, I am required to display the records of only those students who play the game cricket. So this is the first record, okay, that is the student Astik Das Gupta who plays the game cricket and this is the second record, okay, that is the student Mohan Ghosh who plays the game cricket. So out of all these records, we have only two records okay for the student who plays cricket and these are for the record with the student name Astik Das Gupta and then the record with the student name Mohan Ghosh and if I am to display only these two records for which the game is cricket I shall write the where clause as where game should be equal to cricket okay now let me execute this query. Now only those records for which the student used to play cricket gets displayed. 
Now just have a look at the query and the output. Now come to the next question. It says write a query to display records of students who were born after the year 2000 and before the year 2006. That means if the students were to born after the year 2000, then the starting date shall be 1st January 2001. Okay. And if the students were to born before the year 2006, then the ending date shall be 31st December 2005. As a result, we found the date range. The date range starts from 1st January 2001, okay, and ends in 31st December 2005. So the select query shall be select star from player where now I shall use the column called DOB. This is because DOB is the column which represents date of birth and this lists the entries of dates okay the date of birth for each of the students now if the date range should be between okay 1st January 2001 and 31st December 2005 I have to use the between clause along with the select query so the select query shall be select star from player where DOB between 1st January 2001 note that we have to write the year first followed by the month and then the day so this is the starting date and then I have to put the AND operator then write the ending date which shall be 31st December 2005 so I shall write the year first followed by the month and then the day so this is the query which says select star from player where the date of birth should be between 1st January 2001 and 31st December 2005 okay and upon executing this query I can see only two records the first record is for the student Ashtip Das Gupta whose date of birth is 12 December 2003 and obviously 12 December 2003 lies between 1st January 2001 and 31st December 2005 so this record gets listed in the output table and see the next student Mohan Ghosh whose date of birth is 24 June 2001 obviously 24 June 2001 is between the range 1st January 2001 and 31st December 2005 so even his record gets displayed in the output table as a result only these are the two records okay for the students whose date of birth falls between the range 1st January 2001 and 31st December 2005 now note that when we use the between clause then it shall include this date that is the start date as well as the end date and all the dates okay which lies between the start date and the end date so remember this So just have a look at the query for a while and the output. Okay, now let's come to the next question. It says write a query to display F name and L name of students in lowercase. That means I am going to display the first name and the last name of the students. Okay, in lowercase. That means each of these entries for the column F name and the entries for the column L name should be displayed in small letters not in capital letters like this and for that since I'm going to display only the entries of two columns that is F name and L name I'm not going to use the star symbol here because the star shall extract the entries of all the columns starting from PID F name L name till age now the columns have been specifically mentioned that it should be F name and L name so I'm not going to use star now along with that select statement instead i am going to write f name and l name because these are the two columns okay whose entries i am going to display and since i am going to display those entries in small letters i have to use the lower function okay 
so just write select lower of f name comma lower of l name from the table player now let me execute this query so this lists the names under the column f name in small letters and the names under the column l name in small letters see previously the names were written in capital letters for the columns f name and l name but now using the lower of f name and lower of l name function okay the names are represented in small letter so just remember lower case means representing it in small case or in small letter case so look at this query and have a look at this output okay now read the last question it says write a query to display the f name game and age of all the students now we are asked to display only three columns that is f name game and age so let me change the sql query to select f name comma game comma age now the entries of only these three columns that is f name game and age should be displayed from the table player that means only the entries of f name game and age shall be listed in the output table now let me execute this query so here it is the output table shows only three columns f name game and age along with the entries of those columns so i hope you understood how i executed this query to display the entries of only three columns that is f name game and age from the table called player if i would have used star okay if i would have used star here it would have displayed the entries of all the columns starting from pid f name l name game till age but now since we are asked to display only the entries of three columns that is f name game and age so i have to write it specifically as f name here first column then game as the second column and age as the third column the entries of which shall be displayed in the output table so this is the output table it shows three columns f name game and age as we have asked for in the query so i hope you understood and with this i end my presentation here